Hey guys, so I just finished up working out and man, am I exhausted. I'm doing this thing called a, I think it's a 30 day Hit Mafia Challenge. It's put on by Melissa Iolja. Melissa and oh, dude, this thing is ridiculous. As you can probably see on my face, it's all sweaty and nasty, but hey, it's a phenomenal workout. Starting to kind of have the abs show a little bit, increasing my cardio and different things like that. And also I've got a big announcement that I'm going to be, that I'm debating on whether I should actually do or not. But I'll keep you guys in the loop if I do decide to do it. So it's kind of like a little, kind of sticking in front of the, uh, the carrot in front of the rabbit type of thing. But yeah, so I just want to kind of give you guys a potential heads up that I might be announcing something fairly big. So yeah, so all right, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Alright guys, I just had to, I'm on my way to work right now, and I legitimately just have to give Navi some major, major props for this. So, pretty much what happened was, like, I was in, like, a traffic jam where I was not able to go over 20 miles an hour. So, I was pretty much in second and third gear the entire time. And then, like, all of a sudden I get this notification on my phone that says, hey... Like, we can reroute you and it'll give you six minutes uh, more time. It's like, well, hey, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to accept different things into my life and I'm trying to kind of make myself more flexible. So, yeah, it's just like, you know what, why not? Let's go ahead and do this. And, like, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And, like, look at the, look at the traffic now. There's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. Like, I love Navi so much. Like, I am so blown away right now. Like, Navi, like, she might be difficult to see, but she's down there. Oh, Navi! So proud of you. Like, so I was kind of like a lens flare right there. But it's just like, oh my gosh. There's like no traffic. Oh my gosh. Like, when I normally come through here, there's no chance. No chance in heck that I can get through here at a normal time. This is phenomenal. Like, there's nobody here. Oh, Navi. Baby girl. Oh, Navi and baby girl, they are a dangerous combination. I, oh, wow. I'm just so excited. It was normal. Like, I'm just sitting in traffic, just like, but this, like, look, nobody here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, this is gonna be like a, a longer clip for something that's really not that important, but oh, this is just huge. Hey guys, it's super bright right now, but I just wanted to give you a quick exterior shot of the outside of Avalon. Just walking in to school right now. Oh, school, just walking in right now. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I just dropped off a customer uh, and then I'm in the Touareg right now. This vehicle, I am actually, actually really, really shocked as to how good this thing is. Like, if I was to pick an SUV, like, it would definitely be between, it would be between this Touareg and definitely my VC, my VC90. Like, that's definitely the vehicle that I'd want. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to, uh, yeah, just kind of, ooh, sorry. Uh, I just wanted to kind of just like, kind of give you guys a quick update and kind of like tell you like my feelings about the Touareg and I really like it. I'm definitely a fan of this vehicle, so, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna head back to the, just drop the customer off, I'm gonna head back to the, the uh, shop right now, and we'll check in with you later. Bye. Hey guys, so right now I am actually running an errand for Avalon, and it's kinda long, let's go this one. So yeah, so I'm running an area for Avalon right now, and what I'm doing is I'm actually, I've never done this before actually, which is kind of surprising, is I'm having an emissions test done, as you can kind of see here. Yeah, I've actually never been to one of these. But yeah, so I'm having an emissions test done for Avalon for one of our customers and their TT, and I must say that I like the TT. GTI, meh, I can leave the GTI. The Toreg, I want a Toreg really badly. The Toreg's either gonna come between, the Toreg's either gonna be, let's see here, either the Toreg or 
the V6, the V690, like those are pretty much the only two vehicles, the two SUVs that I'd actually purchase. So, yeah, and then like the TT is like, the TT's fun, but it's primarily just, it's got a lot, like as soon as you hit three grand, the turbo just kicks in, and it's just like a mouth full of just torque. And you really can't control it, it's fun, but it's like absolutely dead until three, and it's like not linear at all, it's like bleh. So, uh, I like the TT, it's a manual. It's kind of dirty in here, so I'm really not gonna show you guys around because it's yeah, kind of filthy. But it's a very good driving car, I was really surprised. But the Touareg, the Touareg, that's, that's my baby girl right there, that's my baby girl. So, yeah, so it's kind of like, that's what I have going on right now, so we'll check in later. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do the daily vlogs. <laughs> I don't really know what possessed me to make this decision, but yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and do the daily vlogs. I was actually, I kind of do know what kind of possessed me to do it. So I was listening to the Shea Carl, well, Shea Carl's on Tim Ferriss' podcast, and it really, just hearing Shea's story and how he kind of got started and how he just, how he built his empire on a novel idea really made me it made me want to do something similar it made me want to kind of get out there and just do something that I've never done before so yeah so I've I've decided to kind of do the daily vlogs I'm gonna start for 30 days and I'm just gonna do like a straight 30 days of daily vlogs and kind of from there we'll see if we continue with it. But yeah, I just kind of want to see this. Is I want to challenge myself to commit to something and finish it all the way through. One of my biggest issues and one of my, one of the largest things that I'm working on in my life is being a finisher. So finishing what I start, whether it be a movie, whether it be um, an essay or just whatever, just becoming a finisher. I have a lot of difficulties doing that. I've gotten substantially better from where I used to be like in college and when I first moved up to Colorado. But yeah, so right now I just wanna kinda set myself up to kinda test to see if I can actually continue to be a finisher. And what that means for me is just committing to, hey, I'm going to do these daily vlogs for 30, for 30 days, I'm gonna get them edited up, and not just vlogging, but also like putting it up online on on the, the Kaizen Journey channel. So yeah guys, so that's kind of, that was a big announcement that I was kind of teasing earlier, is daily vlogs, and we're gonna see how that goes. So, all right, we'll talk a little bit later. See ya. Okay guys, so, <laughs> once again, we are at BMW of Co's. Uh, yeah, so, I just had to come and look at the M3 again. I'm gonna see if it's still here. I hope it is, because that's my dream. That's my dream car. Oh, I see her. I see her. All right, guys, I'm going to kind of show you. Yeah, you can kind of see her a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, this car. This car, guys. I will own. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Oh, dude, I'm telling you. I'm just. This vehicle is just. I have no idea. No words, absolutely no words. I, it's what I'm gonna work towards. It's what I really want. It's hmm. F80 M3, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> just oh, I loved it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. So. Yeah, alright guys, we're just gonna, we're gonna head back home right now. Uh, so, yeah, so, we made the commitment for at least for the next 30 days, we will be making a vlog. Uh, daily vlogs. So, here we go, let's do it. So, I'm gonna sign off now guys, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright.